Myanmar plans to build a new sports university in Naypyidaw, the capital. In an exclusive interview with Channel News Asia, the country's deputy sports minister said this plan will better utilize the facilities being built for the Southeast Asian Games this December. Channel News Asia's Myanmar correspondent Mei Wong, Mei Wong with this report. This is the first time the international media has seen this brand new Olympic-sized swimming pool built for the 27th Sea Games. Myanmar's capital, Naypyidaw, will be the main location where most of the 33 sporting events will take place. The country spent the last two years constructing new sporting venues like these. And the government's keen not to let these venues become white elephants after the Sea Games as they're planning to build a sports university within the Sea Games village. Sport is the, the, for the good of the, the youth. You know, youth is a very important for the country. So we open the, the we, our plan to open the sports university is to, to develop youth development and uh, human resources development. But for now, the plan is to show the international community that Myanmar is capable of hosting the Sea Games after a 44-year hiatus. Myanmar's reputation is certainly on the line as they strive to ensure that from the athletes' dormitories to the internet and power supply, everything will be in top condition. Now we are still uh, going on with, with, with uh, our full, full momentum up to the final day. We can make it 100%. We can assure you that we can make it without any problem. The planners will also be giving 100% dedication to ensuring the safety of the athletes and participants at the Games. Security, the well organized. So I can say that no problem, no riot, no the security, the, 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 the pro, uh, problem will be happen in the camp, our Sea Games. Some 30,000 spectators are expected to pack this entire stadium come the opening ceremony for the Sea Games. I understand that over 90% of the preparations for the entire Games have already been completed with just minor touches to go. And as this is the venue for the opening ceremony, I had a sneak preview on what to expect come the ceremony. Now for one, spectators will be treated to colourful lights coming out from those LED floorboards. In addition to that, you can expect images of me and to be projected on the ground. Organizers decline to say how much hosting the games will cost them. However, they're hoping that the show as well as the games will be nothing short of being spectacular. May Wong, Channel News Asia, Naypyidaw.